Today, a film about hope, acceptance, and love. The MTV documentary Gay Chorus Deep South tells the story of the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus as they embark on a tour of the American Deep South, which was in response to a wave of discriminatory laws against the LGBTQ community. Joining me now to discuss the film and its premiere on Sunday is the director, David Charles Rodriguez, along with the chorus uh, artistic director, Dr. Tim Seelig. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks for joining me. You know, first of all, congratulations. You guys won the Documentary Audience Award at the Tribeca Film um, Festival. And I think that that's a huge prop to exactly the feel of this movie. So congratulations for that. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. Let's talk about the, the theme of the, of the film, because I think right now, one of the things all of us need more, it, it feels like it's such a divide in America in so many different ways. And I love the idea that you say, you know, you embark on this to, because this was in response to anti, um, or to discriminatory laws and all that for the LGBTQ community. So talk a little bit about how you guys felt as you got into it and you felt that there was a divide in America. What did it leave you with? Uh what a great question, and, and it's, uh, you know, there's a long answer in there, of course, but I'll try to keep it brief. We went on this tour, as as is stated, as I stated in the beginning, to, you know, sprinkle a little water on, on some dry land where the LGBTQ community really is, is suffering. But it turns out that they're not suffering as much as they are fighting. And what we really found was courageous people throughout the South who had decided not to flee to one of the gay meccas, but stay home and do the hard work. And that was one of the most inspirational things I think we learned. The whole purpose of making this film was to test the waters of the divisiveness of the country. And, and, and you know, what we learned is that the country, you know, is way more purple, you know, shades of purple than it is red and blue, you know? So each community, each town, each place, you know, they have people from both sides and, and, you know, most of these people do come together and do congregate. And, and I think that's a starting point, you know, so using the chorus's music as a way to get those people together um, was a really profound way to, to start a conversation and to, and to, you know, create a bridge and, and hopefully a blueprint um, forward towards unity. I agree with you, and I want to get to music in just a minute, but first I want you to kind of give um, an idea of the tour that you took, because this was, what, 300 singers that you went from Mississippi to Tennessee through that deep south. Well, we went from we went from um, Mississippi to Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, and South Carolina, and did... Um, we did 25 appearances, but we did in all five of those states, everything from small schools and rec centers to lar the largest concert hall in each of those five states. So the, the logistics were a, a, a nightmare, if you can even imagine. Um, but we had an amazing tour company that took care of all of that. And all the singers had to worry about was get on the bus by eight or we're going to leave you behind and go to bed at about 11 when the concert's over and we'll see you in the morning. So the 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 singers, I mean, I think we we miss out on the fact that they gave up uh, eight days, nine days of their lives. They paid their own way because they believed that something really wonderful would happen while we were there and for themselves. Mm. You know, at the at the worst of um, things, people can feel unsafe. Did you ever feel unsafe? Uh, we were we were protected. We had a lot of security coming from San Francisco. Our board of directors made sure that we were protected. Each of the cities was amazing. We met with our law enforcement early on, and um, you know there were there were lots of questions like, "Do you want metal detectors at your concerts?" and and our question was, "Do you ordinarily have metal detectors?" And they said, "No." Then we said, "No." So we felt protected, and no, we. There was a bomb threat at one of the locations, but we didn't know that it was happening. They just said, you know, it's time to clear out and uh, go eat some fried chicken, which we did. And we only found out later that it was a, a that they did a bomb sweep. You know, um, we're out of time, you guys, but faith, I think politics, sexual identity, all of that can be so divisive. But song truly unites. And, and I think it, it seems that that's what we see through what you did. Did it, did it leave you with a feeling that there's more good than bad in this world? Absolutely. 100%. 100%. Yeah. And once you see the movie, you'll, you'll realize that. 
And, and that's, that's really what the movie tries to do. You know, it's a movie about people coming together, you know, and, and, and it doesn't matter what you believe in and who you are, um, you know, watch the film and, you know, you'll, 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 you'll be hopeful in some, some different way. You guys, thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to give all the information so people can watch it. I appreciate all that you do. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you so much. Absolutely. And again, you can watch the film premiere of Gay Chorus Deep South. It's this Sunday at 8 p.m. on the streaming apps Pop Logo and Pluto. All right. Up